question that popular culture, especially popular culture in the dominant sphere, has reinforced certain negative viewpoints about black men. You know, think about the birth of the nation, right? Birth of the nation, a monumental, was it, 1915 film by D.W. Griffin. And that film uh, really was a technical marvel because it heralded uh, the coming age of, uh, you know, motion picture production at a high level, but it also reinforced simultaneously, used that technology to reinforce visions and stereotypes about black people, especially black masculinity. White women were the objects of black men. Black men were peripatetic phalluses with unrequited desire for their denied object, white women. Uh, so as James Baldwin says, walking fallacies, black men are construed and constructed as seeking to inseminate pure virginal uh, white female uh, identity. And as a result of that, black men were had to be contained. Uh, so popular culture uh, from before, of course, when we talk about pamphlets and literature that was generated uh, out of dominant white culture from slave owners, uh, slaveocracy itself generated stories, myths, ideas about black masculinity, about how black men uh, with their extraordinary, um, you know, penises and their extraordinary sexual equipment uh, could be used to reinforce the telos, the goal of slavery, which was to reproduce more slaves and to be able to subordinate those slaves uh, to the political economy of the South and wherever else slavery was, um, was planted, and then, um, you know, force uh, upon those peoples uh, the values, goals, and dispositions of the dominant culture. So slavery was the instrument by which that occurred, and from that time on, stories, pamphlets, social scientific treatises, if you will, uh, in their infant stages, uh, and other pseudoscientific literature was put forth and unleashed that contaminated, that colored uh, popular culture, whether newspapers or pulp fiction uh, that reflected the demonization and stigma that were attached to black men. So from the very beginning, as some of our finest uh, social historians have pointed out, black men are constructed as men with, um, you know, huge sexual appetites, and the women were constructed as lascivious because they had to address and accommodate uh, the extraordinary sexual appetites of black men. So these are deeply ingrained, deeply entrenched ideas about black men and black women that are perpetuated in popular culture uh, that then convey what our beliefs are about how black men behave, what their moral or ethical disposition is, and what they tend to want and how they, in, the, how they tend to act and behave. So a sexual lens that was highly distorted from the beginning, uh, a racist perception of the function and use of black masculinity uh, in the broader culture converged to produce negative viewpoints about who black men are. And then from that time on, um, popular culture has had a role and a hand in either perpetuating that legacy or challenging it to a certain degree. But even those elements of pop culture that challenge the dominant stereotype, um, you know, contain some contradictions and some complications. Even among African American people, where popular culture has both extended some of those stereotypes, even as it signifies on those stereotypes to complicate and challenge a narrow conception of black masculine identity.